Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. I want to share how you can figure out if Bing has crawled and indexed your website content. So first, I'm using a log file analyzer. Costs about $150 a year. And by default, when you uh, import your logs from your hosting provider, so for me, I use GoDaddy and then I use cPanel for my raw logs. I import it directly into this tool. I have all bots by default. I'm going to change it to Bing bot. Next, I'm going to go into the response code section and I'm going to make sure that it's set to 2xx and it's set to last response. Um, I also like using this hierarchy view because for me, this is actually from the URL path of um, uh, how Bing is going through my website. So for me, for this example, I want to see if they're uh, crawling and indexing my SEO local pages. So Clifton Park, Albany, Schenectady. So I can see down here, Albany, for example, I have events um, already open. I can see on November 16th was the last time that Bing has successfully crawled uh, this page as a 200 status code. That means there's no error. Um, the date I'm using is October 19th through the 17th. So um, what I mean by that is that if you go to my uh, websites, I'll bring it over here so you guys can see. Um, basically, if you do a site uh, tmblast.com and you put in the word Albany and now again, I'm using the Bing, uh, the Bing search engine. You can see here that Bing has uh, successfully uh, indexed this page on my site. I can even go to cached as well. Uh, the cache is going to show me that again, it's 1116. Last time Bing has indexed it. If I go back into my log file analyzer, it was November 16th, last time that they uh, indexed the content. So that's really easy to see. Another thing you can do is, um, Go right into Bing Webmaster Tools. You can go to Site Explorer, Index URLs. I'm looking under the Services Local SEO. I'm going to click on Albany. Now, this one doesn't exactly match up with both my log and also my uh, my search command, but I can still see though it is indexed. Last time it was crawled on was November 7th, according to Bing Webmaster Tools, which is actually not accurate to what I'm seeing. So here's the thing. If you have similar pages like me, these local pages, and they are not in... Um, Bing's index. So for example, if you went back into this and you do not see any of these pages within the index or you do the site command and you're not seeing it within bing.com, here's what I recommend. So from a log file perspective, I know that Bing goes to the homepage first and then they go to my robots.txt and then they go to my sitemap. So Bing, very much like Google, is going to respect the technical rules you set up. Robots.txt tells them where they should and should not even look on a website. What you can do is you can add your sitemap.xml directly into your robots.txt file. What does that mean? So if you copy this, and I go right into, uh, I think it's right over here. here it yep, have it. Uh, robots.txt file, I put the sitemap directly into it. So Bing comes to this page, they see where they should not crawl, uh, and then they go right to the sitemap. The sitemap has my uh, links to my service pages. So when I've done audits for people or will reach out and said, hey, I need you to spend a few hours looking at my site from Bing. It's just not crawling or indexing the content. This is kind of the thought process I use. So I say, okay, there's robots.txt files or any errors, no, check. Do you have your sitemap in your robots.txt file? Check. Do you have the pages within your sitemap uh, pointed to it? Believe it or not, sometimes people don't, because if you have a manual sitemap and you forget to update it, Bing is going to look at that from a uh, ranking signal. Another tip is that Bing, if you have a lot of, it's called, um, if you have a dirty sitemap, which means you have more than 1% of um, dirt, which means at 301, 302s, 404s, 500 status uh, errors, et cetera, Bing is going to look at that sitemap as not as helpful and they might not crawl it as much. You can actually see that within your uh, within your log file analyzer. Another tip is that unless you do all those things here, you can change the last mod within your XML sitemap. So if you truthfully did change the content, you say you added a lot more videos and content, you're like, Bing is just not crawling this page. You can change the last mod because you, you actually have changed it and then force that recrawl within uh, both Bing Webmaster Tools from like a URL inspection, and then also resubmit your sitemap directly into Bing Webmaster Tools. Two more tips. So from a crawling perspective, I know that my homepage here, tmblast.com, is the most crawled page and importance by Bing. The reason why I know that is that I can see it within my log file. But if I go into, uh, let's say I'm going to, uh, let's go command real quick, site tmblast.com, hit enter. I know that from a command standpoint that Bing sees my homepage as uh, the most important page. 
obviously for everyone's website, it's probably gonna be the same thing. Your homepage is gonna be your most. Now, what I noticed though, is that my services pages here was actually my second most important page according to Bing from like a hierarchy standpoint. Um, you can see other pages too. So what I did was I went into, I'm gonna open this in a new tab. New tab. I added in those internal links onto my service pages. So actually I forgot to add them initially. So I didn't have Albany, Clifton Parks, Connecty, or Worcester, or even hourly SEO consulting on this page as links. I added them there directly to help speed up the uh, crawling and then also indexing because basically Bing gets to this page. They see a few links. Now they're going to crawl. Um, another thing that I did was, uh, so for the homepage, for example, you can click on this uh, drop down triangle, click on the word cached. As I can see here on the 18th was the last time Bing has uh, seen this version of the page. Now, what I've done in the past is I've, um, let me go to the content. It might not look, so I'm just doing the cache version. Yeah, I'm just going to share. Okay, but that's fine. What I did was I added in the links at the very bottom of the page um, just to make sure that Bing is seeing, again, links down to my local SEO pages. Um, another thing that I've done to help Bing know about my content, I'll go back and actually to my homepage. So you guys can see, um, this isn't like a Bing thing, but it's more of a, just a general recommendation I give is you can actually utilize your, um, your footer at the very bottom of the site. So what I mean by that is, uh, you don't need to put in all of your links, but I put in a good amount, uh, into the footer because again, a footer now is on every page and I'm not trying to abuse this from, um, like an SEO perspective. If you go to some sites, you'll see what I'm talking about, where they have like, you know, uh, 10,000 links in their footer. This is just more from giving it like a hierarchy standpoint, you know, for Bing to say, these are my most important pages on my site and also for Google too. But um, here you go. Also, it's important from a user perspective too. They can come to the site uh, and they go right to the footer. They can see exactly um, the areas on my website. Last, last, last tip that I recommend too is have an HTML sitemap. Um, the reason why is that this page here is, uh, and again, more additional links out to your other pages. So I have these pages here, Albany, Clifton Parks, Connectedy, Worcester. I'm using WordPress. It's a free plugin. You can do a simple HTML sitemap. Um, it works great. And also, again, it's from like a cron path perspective. You can, you know, confirm it within log file analyzer everything like that. So anyway, I know this is a lot. So if you have any problems uh, having your content crawled or indexed or even ranked within Bing, uh, you can reach out to me. I've done this actually now for a few people where they've had some issues with Bing. I spent a few hours looking at the account. Basically everything that I showed you here, I'm going to look at your log files. I'm going to look at Bing Webmaster tools. I'm going to do the site commands. I'm going to look at your internal links using uh, Sitebulb and some other SEO tools as well. Just look at the crawl and perspective, see if there's any issues with that. But if you don't want to do any of that and you want to just reach out to me, feel free. You can go to my website right here, tmblast.com. You can go right to the contact page. You can fill out the form. Um, I also have my email address, even my uh, my phone number, everything like that. It's all listed there. Very easy to get in contact with me. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment on this video. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good rest of your day.